I'm gonna do the disclaimer like this. Yeah. Thank <laughs> listen, you, Thank listen, you. listen, listen, listen here, y'all. Listen, do your own research, okay? Our content is intended to be used and must be used for informational purposes only. It's very important that you do your own analysis before making any investment based on your own personal circumstances. You should take independent financial advice from a professional in connection with or independently research and verify any information that you find on the show and wish to rely upon, whether for the purpose of making an investment decision or otherwise. This is a message brought to you by the good brothers at Earn Your Leisure and the good brother Ian Dunlap, at the Master Investor. Yes. Do your homework, y'all. So, okay, I want y'all to quit making excuses and actually buy the damn stocks. Hey, let's go. There you have it. <laughs> so um, we're going to jump into it. Um, the first thing I want to say I had, I had made a post on Instagram, so I just want to talk about that briefly because I know it got a lot of views and traction on Instagram. And it was something that I thought was interesting as far as um, Bitcoin seizures, well, cryptocurrency I, seizures I knew it was going crazy. <laughs> um, by, by the U.S. government, uh, $1.2 billion this year. And um, it's been happening since 2013. And the reason why I think that it's interesting is that, you know, it's important for people to understand that you know, the government sees everything. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, wh however you want to slice it, this is the world that we live in. This is the country that we live in. So, you know, you think that, you know, crypto is outside of the, the reach of the, the U.S. government, but it's really not. Mm -mm. And they do have auctions. And the crazy thing is um, Draper. Remember we learned about Draper Academy? Draper Academy. Through Mike Brown. Our good friend um, Mike. Yep, yeah, shout out to yeah, yeah. So um, they actually sold him 30,000 Bitcoins in 2014. For fourteen million dollars, that's worth one point four million billion, <laughs> one point four billion now. Um, so first thing is that they have a bad habit of selling at the wrong time. They probably should have just held it <laughs> and just kept it invested, and mm -hmm. it would have been way more profitable to the citizens and to the government to actually have Hold you it. know one point four billion as opposed to a couple millions. They're not part of the, the community. They don't know hold, H O D L. <laughs> hold, hold. <laughs> yes yes um but i think i think that you know it's also interesting just to kind of give different perspectives on it because it's like we look at cryptocurrency and we're going to talk about cryptocurrency i'm not sure tonight but i have a i have a whole rant we're, we're saving we're, we're still in oh let's right i got it <laughs> no no we still we still in peace mode yeah we still in peace mode <laughs> Uh, been two try, weeks yeah i try to have a little patience but it's running out man. it is i asked him not i can't stop him but i, I said if it was me holding it for two weeks yeah all the greenberg would be at the door stop wow. <laughs> <laughs> wait wait <laughs> yes. that all is right a, well 914 you asked for it <laughs> bunch of timberland boots outside my door uh -uh, we're not waiting yeah man so i feel like um where was I going with this? You was, crypto. Yeah. Crypto. Yeah. Crypto is something that you have to you have to really, really be educated on cryptocurrency because it's like, you know, you think that it's safe, it's secure. Nobody can ever get to it. Um, it's a way to hide out. Yeah. We don't have to pay taxes on it. Yeah. It's not. Don't believe the hype. <laughs> don't believe the hype. Please don't. Please. <laughs> Please. We don't want anybody to be in any type of risk of danger of somebody getting audited or somebody owing money in taxes. We don't want you to do that. So we're telling you that in advance. I'm not saying that we've lived from experience, but we've seen it happen. And so we're telling you because we've been in the space. Please, please. All your gains, all your gains. And they treat it the same way. Capital gain, long term capital gain, short term. So they treat it the same way. So please make sure that you're paying taxes if you've made any money in crypto or they will be coming knocking on your door looking for their money. They, you know, the, the alphabet voice. Greatest lesson that you can learn from Vegas is that you always have to pay the big. I can't wait till you guys find out how Ethereum uh, became one of the top crypto to the government. We'll talk about that later. Um, you always have to pay a big, and there's a game inside of a game. I know everyone is betting on crypto to be decentralized, and I know some of you give me flack when I say that it's not. You go do your research, man. Some things are coming to the forefront that are kind of scary that I kind of told you guys that what happened six and seven months ago. So, yep, you got to pay your taxes and there are no loopholes around the government because most of the message boards that you guys and discords that you are in are riddled with agents inside of them. Be careful. Yeah. And for the inevitable question of when, where, where can you buy government 
crypto if you're into that sort of thing. Um, so it's a few steps I looked at online. Um, so first you have to, uh, find the auction so you can go to keep an eye on different, uh, websites, GSA and, uh, USMS websites for upcoming auctions. Then you have to register with the auction that's going to be required. You're going to have to have a bit of registration form, copy of your ID. Um, and then, you know, all of that stuff as far as, you know, to send in the deposits, but you can, you can get the, the thing about the crypto auction. It's like anything you can actually get it for a lower oh, price yeah, yeah. than, um, so I'm not even, I have to really understand why they're actually even auctioning it as opposed to just selling yeah, it in the, free, in the free market, because yeah. like you can actually get it for a lower price. So it's, it's interesting. Maybe you have to buy in bulk or something like that. Yeah. I, I don't know. Maybe the government's not allowed to actually sell on a free market. free market. They have to auction it just like a house, right? Mm -hmm. Like they auction a house, they auction a car. So, you know, that's something for a lawyer or somebody that's in law enforcement to kind of answer that question. Yeah. But um, I mean, like if you Google the steps, you can find the steps, but uh, it's interesting and something that I haven't really thought about. Yeah, like um, when they repo your vehicle, like when the government repos well, yeah, you it can and get, then you, you buy get, the car. Yeah, you get, you get cars for cheaper that way. Yeah. So it's interesting, it's interesting. Um, all right.